At this time, we respectfully request you to turn off all cell phones and other electronic devices or set them to silent mode. As a reminder, this is considered an outdoor ceremony. Military members must keep their covers on and salute during ruffles and flourishes and both national anthems. Our civilian guests should place their right hands over their hearts during the national anthem. Thank you. ご来賓の皆様ご着席くださいまもなく式典を開始いたします開式の前に皆様には携帯電話並びに電子機器の電源を切りなるかマナーモードに設定いただけますようお願いいたします本日の式典は屋外にて行います国家演奏中は軍人は敬礼の姿勢で民間人の皆様はご起立を上右手を心臓のあたりに当たってあいただきますようお願いいたします。Good morning. Welcome to the 374th Airlift Wing Change of Command. I am Technical Sergeant Jacqueline Navarra. And I am Staff Sergeant Gary Leach. We are your Masters of Ceremony for today's event. The Change of Command is a, tradition, it's a traditional military ceremony in which the departing commander assembles their troops for presentation to the incoming commander. 指揮権交代式はこれから離任する司令官が部隊を招集し、新任の司令官に引き継ぐ軍の伝統儀式です。The ceremony serves to publicly notify the members of the unit that leadership has willingly been passed from one commander to the next. Additionally, the ceremony establishes a specific point in time when responsibility for the unit transfers from the old commander to the new. これにより前任から後任の司令官に司令権が滞りなく引き継がれたことを部隊員に示しますさらにこの指揮を境に部隊に対する責任が前任から後任の司令官に移行したこととなります History reveals that as early as ancient Rome, standards representing national or clan origins were carried by advancing armies into battle. In later times, knights would carry crests on their coat of arms as well as on their shields, allowing their troops to rally to the standard throughout the battle. During the American Civil War, each lieutenant organization carried into battle a set of colors. 古代ローマ時代より戦地に向かって前進する軍は国家や一族の起源を表した大旗を敬語しました。後に騎士たちは自らの家紋を紋章や盾につけて携帯しましたそうすることにより戦闘中に部隊が大気のもとに集結できるようにしたのですアメリカ南北戦争ではそれぞれの部隊が戦場に旗を持ち込みました Today, the passing of the colors and the honor to carry them remains as prestigious an honor. An important aspect of the change of command, which has remained the same over time, is the public manner in which authority is passed from the departing commander to their successor. This act shows the public acceptance of responsibilities that are passed to the new commander. This ceremony, just as it has for centuries, adds special color and pageantry to the military life while simultaneously preserving the tradition and esprit de corps. 今日も旗を手渡しそれを継承する名誉は当時と変わりません試験交代においては公衆の面前で離任する司令官から公認の司令官に権利が移譲されますそうすることにより指揮権の継承が人々の承認を得て行われたということも証明するのですこの式は何席にもわたり連綿と打ち付けかれてきたもので軍務に彩りを添える一体であると同時にその伝統と精神を保持するものでもあります。The commander, 5th Air Force Lieutenant General Ricky Rupp, will officiate today's ceremony in which Colonel Andrew Rodden will relinquish command of the 374th Air Wing to Colonel Richard McElhaney. 本日は第5空軍司令官リッキー・ラップ中将により
第374空輸航空団の指揮権がアンドリュー・ララン大佐よりリチャード・マケルヘイニ大佐に移譲されます Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the arrival of the official party playing of ruffles and flourishes and remain standing for the presentation of the colors, the singing of national anthems, and the invocation by Chaplain Yukter. Good evening, Mr. Chairman. 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 Good Can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the
Let us pray. Heavenly God, we thank you for your presence among us this day as we gather to witness this change of command. We thank you for gifting us these past two years with our commander, Colonel Andrew Rodden, and helping him and all in this wing to navigate both calm and turbulent skies, empowering us to rise above every challenge and soar to new heights of perfection. We ask that you would continue to watch over and guide Colonel Rodden and his family as they move on, strengthening them daily as they press on in service to both you and our nation. As the guide on of command passes this day, we ask for your unwavering care and direction for the 374th Airlift Wing. Help the women and men of this wing to be disciplined and effective leaders that our nation requires, keeping them sharp in thought and action, in word and deed. Bestow your blessings upon Colonel Richard McElhaney as he assumes leadership here, that he might be a good steward of the trust placed in him, a leader above reproach, a lover of good, self-controlled, upright, and disciplined, that he might carry this wing forward in the years to come, rising above each new challenge. Be with Colonel McElhaney's family as they become part of our airlifter family and smooth their transition into this new phase of their lives together. And let us not forget those who cannot be here today, those who pave the way for our freedom and those standing even now in harm's way. And we ask all this in your heavenly name. Amen. Thank you, Honor Guard, Senior Airman Hughesby, and Chaplain Yuter. Please be seated. At this time, we would like to give a special welcome to the family members of the official party and distinguished guests in attendance. Please hold your applause until all names are announced. The spouse of the outgoing commander, Mrs. Renee Otto. 紹介が終わるまで拍手をお控えください。Mrs.リネーオット The spouse of the incoming commander, Mrs. Caroline McElhaney, and their children, Brody and Meyer. Mrs. Caroline McElhaney, Narabini Brody Kun to Maya Kun. The mayor of Fusa City, Honorable Iko Kato. Fusa Shicho, Kato Iko Sama. The mayor of Mizuho Town, Honorable Hiroyuki Sugiura. Mizuho Chocho, Sugiura Hiroyuki Sama. The Mayor of Musashi Muriyama City, Honorable Yasuhiro Yamazaki. Musashi, Musashi Muriyama Shicho, Yamazaki Yasuhiro Sama. The Mayor of Hamura City, Honorable Hirotaka Hashimoto. Hamura Shicho, Hashimoto Hirotaka Sama. The Mayor of Tachikawa City, Honorable Daishi Sakai. Tachikawa Shicho, Sakai Daishi Sama. The Deputy Commander, United States Forces Japan, Major General George Rao, and his spouse Chris. The Commander, Air Tactics Development Wing, Major General Teru Tomikawa. The Command Chief, Air Tactics Development Wing, Warrant Officer Satoshi Furuichi. The Commander, First Airborne Brigade, Major General Junya Wakamatsu. The Deputy Commander, 5th Air Force, Brigadier General Michael Moding. The Command Chief, 5th Air Force, Chief Master Sergeant Sean Campbell and his spouse Amber. The Division Director, American Red Cross Asia Pacific, Mr. Scott Armstrong. The Director General, North Kanto Defense Bureau, Mr. Tomohiko Futamata. We extend a warm welcome to our local friendship clubs, all commanders, chiefs, first sergeants, and airmen and family members in the audience today, especially the men and the women of the 374th Airlift Wing. 周辺自治体並びに友好クラブの皆様各部隊の司令官船員ファーストサージェント第374空洋空空団隊員の皆様ご出席ありがとうございます
Ladies and gentlemen, the commander, Fifth Air Force, Lieutenant General Rupp. ご来賓の皆様、在航空軍司令官ラップ中将です。Well, good morning, everyone, distinguished guests, esteemed colleagues, Yokota Airmen, Japanese leaders. Oh, how good I must. Good morning. It's great to be here today and see the members of the 374th Airlift Wing and these outstanding formations. Y'all look. Y'all look great. It's also good to see so many friends、uh, in the audience. Thank you all for being here today. And thanks to everyone who contributed to the change command ceremony, the honor guard, vocalists, all the preparations and details that were put in place. Thank you for all your hard work. And a special warm welcome to our mission partners,、uh, the Japan Self Defense Forces, and our local leaders. I want to take a moment to express my deepest gratitude. To the airmen of the 374th Airlift Wing for your unwavering dedication, hard work, and commitment to excellence. Your commitment has been instrumental, both operationally and in terms of quality of life. Your tireless efforts have made a significant difference in our mission. Thanks for all you do. Your hard work does not go unnoticed. To the spouses and family members, Whether you're here at Yokota or you're back in the States, thank you for your unwavering support of our service members. They could not do what they do without your love and support. The 374th Airlift Wing plays a vital role in the defense of Japan and ensuring a free and open Indo Pacific in the face of aggressive regional actors. Through collaboration and integration with like minded nations, the regional actors seek to change the status quo. And violate the principles of freedom of navigation and the rule of law. The PRC conducts aggressive and dangerous intercepts against U.S. and allied aircraft and conducts routine incursions in the sovereign territory. Russia, despite their illegal invasion of Ukraine, is paired with the PRC to conduct joint naval and bomber patrols in the Pacific. And the DPRK conducts routine missile launches, testing their nu nuclear capable weapons, adding another layer of security threats. Despite these regional challenges, the US Japan alliance is at its strongest in history, and it continues to be the cornerstone of regional peace and security. Our alliance demonstrates the commitment to a shared vision of a free and open Indo Pacific. The government of Japan worked tirelessly. And at speed in the face of these regional threats. They published national security documents largely aligned with the US and regional partners, significantly increased their defense spending, invested in counter strike defensive capabilities, collaborated with the US to increase access and posture. And now they're on a journey to build the Japan Joint Operations Center, or the JJOC. Just as our Japanese partners do their part, Colonel Rodden led the wing in collaboration over the last two years. His leadership philosophy centered around empowering and supporting airmen to achieve mission success through a people first approach. He believes the primary role of a leader is to create an environment where airmen can thrive and perform at their best, not only ensuring their professional development and well being, but also recognizing the critical roles of their families. His solution oriented mindset enabled airmen to prioritize ways to achieve goals, overcome obstacles, and foster innovation and collaboration. The wing expanded mental health resources, such as establishing the first embedded True North program within the Logistics Readiness Squadron. The wing prioritized education and professional development, providing opportunities for airmen, civilians, and Japanese employees. To further their skills and advance their careers. It's worth mentioning the 374th SOT's first MLC employee graduate from Airman Leadership School, a program traditionally reserved for active duty military and U.S. civilians. Yokota Security Forces advanced the Department of Defense's first female defender initiative, resulting in the employment of Yokota's first female civilian contractor. And now, the JAS staff are implementing the same practices amongst their ranks. Additionally, the Yoko Works team won the 2023 Spark Tank Championship. 
Operationally, the wing demonstrated exceptional global mobility, performing over 20,000 sorties to transport critical supplies and personnel across the Indo-Pacific region. It executed the longest running humanitarian airlift operation, Operation Christmas Drop, delivering 66,000 pounds of aid to 58 islands, and led 27 theater-wide exercises and operations with 15 nations, including the largest ever bilateral exercise with India. All these actions demonstrate the unwavering commitment to promoting security and stability in the Department of Defense's largest area of operations. The wing provided vital support to a joint effort in the realm of space operations, enabling the delivery of two U.S. payloads, which the Japanese will host on their navigation satellites as part of an initiative between the U.S. Space Force and the government of Japan, significantly increasing and strengthening our newest service branch and enhancing deterrence against adversaries in the operational domain. Colonel Rodden's investment in the airmen of the 374th Airlift Wing and his ability to lead with honor and dedication have played a vital role in their success, thanks to his focus on education, professional development, and quality of life. The Wing has earned many awards, including 125 Pacific Air Force Awards and 18 Air Force level awards. His leadership inspired airmen to realize their goals, resulting in their outstanding achievements. Andrew, your dedication to the wing has been invaluable to the success of the United States presence in this region. The Air Force of District of Washington is fortunate to have you, and your experience in this region will be invaluable to that team. Thank you. Of course, we know he did not do this on his own. I want to express my thanks and gratitude to his wife, Renee, daughter Sydney and Sierra. Thanks for everything you did to keep him grounded and inspired and your support for him all along the way. I'm very proud of you. Thank you for everything you've done to support him and the Yakota Airmen. Thank you. And as is the case in our military, when one leader moves, another one moves in. So we're thrilled to welcome Colonel Richard McElhaney as the new wing commander of the 374th Airlift Wing. Colonel McElhaney previously served as a 374th Operations Support Squadron Commander here from 2017 to 2019. It's an honor to have him back. He's a distinguished graduate of Mississippi State's ROTC program, completed undergraduate pilot training at Columbus Air Force Base. He's held various positions, instructor, assistant director of operations, director of staff, MAGCOM division chief, executive assistant to the commander, and he's been commander at the squadron and group levels. He's achieved academic distinction at Air Command and Staff College and Air, Air War College. Colonel McAhaney is a proven leader with a very impressive record, and I am confident he's the right person to lead this wing into the future. Under his leadership, this wing will continue to excel. As some of you may know, it can be challenging for a wing commander to be co-located on the same base with his boss. But there's a special relationship between commanders, and I have no doubt that he'll continue to work closely with us to continue the success of the 374th. Big Mac, you have my full trust and confidence, and I know you will do great. I also want to welcome his wife, Carolyn, and sons Brody and Meyer. They join us here today. Thank you for all you do to support uh, Richard and your dad and all the airmen and families along the way throughout the years. I look forward to getting to know and serve with you as well. Once again, Colonel Rodden, thank you for your service and best of luck at AFTW. Colonel McElhaney, I wish you all the best as you take on this new role. The future is very bright for the 374th. May God bless the 374th, the United States Air Force, and the United States of America. Thank you. Thank you, Lieutenant General Rupp. Rupp, thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the presentation of the Legion of Merit to Colonel Rodden. ご来賓の皆様ご起立くださいこれよりララン大佐に勲章が使用されます Attention to orders. This is to certify that the President of the United States of America, authorized by the Act of Congress, July 20, 1942, has awarded the Legion of Merit, First Oak Leaf Cluster, to Colonel Andrew L. Rodden. Colonel Andrew L. Rodden distinguished himself by exceptionally meritorious conduct in the performance of outstanding service to the United States as Commander, 374th Airlift Wing, Yokota Air Base, Japan, from 18 June 2022 to 9 July 2024. During this period, the exemplary ability, diligence, and devotion to duty of Colonel Rodden provided leadership to four groups and 18 squadrons of military, Japanese nationals, and United States civilians, 58 mission partners, and 11,500 base personnel, while also garnering the trust of eight local mayors. His wing executed 40 higher headquarters exercises with over 15 nations, including the base simultaneously flying, supporting, and bedding down exercises for Indo-Pacific Command, Pacific Air Forces, United States Marine Corps, and Air Mobility Command's largest 2023 exercise. He also commanded the stand-up and year-long deployment of the first ever MQ-9 deployment to Japan, enabling greater United States-Japan bilateral intelligence sharing. Additionally, Yokota Air Base served as the Western Pacific Logistics Hub, supporting high visibility movements for the Vice President, Speaker of the House, Secretary of State, American Satellites, and United Nations missions from France, Thailand, and Australia. Furthermore, he was personally asked to speak at Japan's International Airborne Conference to represent Air Force views to Army General Officers from four countries. Moreover, he commanded Operation Christmas Drop, aligning five nations in 46 sorties across 58 remote Pacific islands, airdropping 209 aid bundles to 48,000 islanders, and earning the Air Force's 2023 Berlin Airlift Award. Colonel Rodden drove Yokota's family community, hosting the first ever overseas in-person training by the Military Interstate Child Compact Commission for teachers, parents, and school liaisons across Japan and anchoring military student rights. Finally, he led the base response to a CV-22 loss, managing a recovery effort across four wings and three match comps off Japan's coast, ensuring his teams were ready to recover, identify, and honorably transport eight fallen heroes to their final resting place. The superior initiative, outstanding leadership, and personal endeavor displayed by Colonel Rodden reflect great credit upon himself and the United States Air Force. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the commander, Colonel Rodden. Good morning. I need to start by saying thank you to those in attendance today. Lieutenant General Rupp, thank you for officiating today's ceremony. To our distinguished guests, Major General Rao, congratulations and his wife, Chris, General Moting, Chief Campbell, Mr. Armstrong, Group Captain Johnson, Colonel Rosnack, Colonel Kenkel, all commanders, colonels, and chiefs. To our Japanese partners, Major General Tomakawa, Warrant Officer Furuichi, Colonel Sato, Warrant Officer Ohira, Colonel Kono, and Warrant Officer Aramoto. To our Jaga friends and all the civic leaders who are here in attendance, Thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to be here today. Continuing the thank yous, thank you to the team that have put this on today, to the projos who led the effort, Captain Moore and Major Hood, the entire change of command team, the 374th MXG for the use of this awesome hangar, and to the wing protocol team. Also to the PACAF band, Senior M and Hughesby, for that beautiful rendition of our national anthems, the Yukota Honor Guard, and Chaplain Yukta, Thank you all. I stand here at this podium today with one last opportunity to say thank you for this command, for the experience and the work done by so many people. Just over two years ago, I arrived in Japan to take command of the 374th Airlift Wing. 
I left a post-COVID America and arrived into Japan, still firmly managing that COVID response. My guidance, even before I got here, was clear. Bring the wing out of COVID, rebuild the partnerships from the challenges of COVID separation. Our partnerships are what make us strong. America is a mighty nation, but we don't work alone. We build, we join, and we maintain teams that succeed around the world. And nowhere is that more critical than right now in the Indo-Pacific. I've been blessed with the opportunity to build, join, and nurture some amazing partnerships with incredible partners. To my fellow wing commanders here in Japan, Tulsa, Bate, and Sean, thanks for the teamwork, the friendship, and your openness to take a call when I had a question. To the operational support wing here at Yokota and their exceptional leader, Colonel Rocky Ishii, along with his trusted teammate, Warrant Officer Ogura, thank you for your steadfast friendship. Thank you also to Fumiko for all the things you do so quietly. To the stunning group of eight mayors I could never have imagined working with, you are amazing. Yokota does not exist without its surrounding communities. It does not thrive without your teamwork. And we cannot execute our mission without your support. Tachikawa Sakai Shichu, Akishima Usui Shichu, Fusa Kato Shichu, Hamura Hashimoto Shichu, Musashi Murayama Yamazaki Shichu, Mizuho Sugiura Chocho, Inagi Takahashi Shichu, Tama Abe Shichu, Mena Sakma Kara Goki Ryo Ku, Yoko Goshitu. Goshin Lai, Ita Takai, Arigato Gam Zamashta, Tomeni, Suko Tushita, Jitanke, Ki Zueta, Shinli Kankai, O Zutu, Tisetsu Ni Shimasu, Arigato Gazaimas. Director General Funtamata, the North Kanto Defense Bureau is the glue that holds us together, and your teamwork lets us continue to function at the pace we have to operate. Your staff are professionals. They seek the best for all our communities every day, and I sincerely appreciate your leadership to let our relationships thrive. To the friendship clubs that surround our base and pour into our personnel with love, kindness, understanding, and history. You help build a common understanding between those of us who live on the base and those who live around it. Thank you for committing your time to our base. And to Gen Major General Wakamatsu and your mighty warriors of the 1st Airborne Brigade. The 374th Airlift Wing and the 1st Airborne Brigade are inextricably linked. We're stronger because of each other. Thank you for your vision, your leadership, and your passion to drive our relationship forward together. The US-Japan relationship and our alliance is stronger because of leaders like you. And finally, to Dr. Sagano, who unfortunately cannot join us today, we stand here at Yokota on the shoulders of the giants that came before us. Your dedication to our shared history and the recognition of the heroes that came before us is amazing. Thank you for helping us all learn from the humanitarian deeds of our past and carry forward a shared de dedication to a peaceful world. Yokota is a community where 11,500 people live, work, and play right here. Whether you're a service member, a civilian employee, a US contractor, a member of our incredible host nation team of master labor contractors, a family member, a loved one, you are what makes Yokota great. I've had the pleasure of not only being the 374th LF1 commander, but also the Yokota base commander. That role has reinforced to me the value of our community the 58 mission partners, the international and joint service members, and the team that look after us all every day. You make this place special. And at the heart of that is the 374th Mission Support Group, who feed us, entertain us, teach us, help us stay fit, secure us. You give us opportunities to see more. You ensure the base infrastructure is functioning. You contract, you communicate, you lodge us. You move us everywhere we need to be on and off base. Thank you to our medical group. You are the ones who look after our physical and mental health, our teeth, and our environment, and all the equipment to do that. You stand waiting 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, to put us back together when we're sick or injured. 
Thank you to each of you for caring for our community and to the teams of teams that take care of us all, from the Military and Family Readiness Center, officially the best in the Air Force, the fitness staff, also the best in the Air Force, our school liaison officer, when they make that award, he's going to be the best in the Air Force. The Integrated Resilience Office, the Mental Health Team, our OSTs, our True North Providers, the Chapel Team, the amazing USO, the Red Cross, the ODR, the ITT, the FSS Vehicle Ops Teams, the folks who run Tama Hills, Mr. King and his unstoppable team, the MFLAX, the staff of the CDC and the School Age Programs, the private orgs who all pour their heart and souls into making this the best place it can be and the best community it can be for us to be. Thanks for the Frostbite runs, the Big O runs, the Friendship Festivals, the Sakura Festivals, the Farmers Markets, the Asian Bazaars, the Heartlink, the Tap, the Spouse Tap, and even a Winter Wonderland that let just a suggestion of an ice rink come true on Yakota. I think everyone would like an ice rink right now. You are all amazing. You do more than you ever think we notice, and you never believe you can do enough. Thank you, and I am going to miss all of you. To our partners at Dodea, thank you for being part of our team. Thank you for taking on the tough challenges that move the needle for our kids, the ones who never signed up for a military life, but still stride through it, displaying resilience that any team in any arena can only wish for. Thanks to AFES, they are the twice best in Department of Defense for being a true community partner. To our commissary team at DECA, thanks for always striving to be, bring the best to our community, even when supply chains and the ships disagreed. This community has weathered horrific hardships. We've managed with our connectedness. It's celebrated dimension achievements together, because as a team, when we come together, we, and when some succeed, we all succeed. Thank you to all for making this community, for connecting each other, and for caring for one another, and for looking after each other. No one can do this by themselves, and as a community, no, none of you let anyone try. Thank you all. At the end of the day, Yakota is a special place, but it's here for a reason. It's here to execute mission. We live in the First Island chain, we operate in the First Island chain, and we stand ready every day in the First Island chain. Our readiness isn't a choice, it's a requirement. And when we are ready, we strengthen our partnerships, our alliances, our resolve, and our trust to keep a free and open Indo-Pacific. From India to the continental United States, from Alaska to New Caledonia, the Philippines, Thailand, Hawaii, Bangladesh, Guam, Indonesia, the simple geography of the mission here is immense. To the maintenance group who makes sure every plane, every flight is executed with ready, safe aircraft, while also building those international partners, our operations group who operate those aircraft, coordinate those missions, run this airfield at every time of the day and night, train, equip, and analyze what is going on. To our medical group who make sure that every one of our teams supporting every one of those missions is ready to go. And to the mission support group without whom no flight will ever take off, no mission will ever depart. And to our unsung heroes of the wing staff agencies who inspect, validate, plan, budget, publicize, document care and keep us legal doing it all, thank you to every part of this wing for making mission happen every single day. I'm getting to the end. But I've got to conclude with some special thank yous to the people who've helped me command these past two years. To the commanders and senior enlisted leaders at Echelon, thank you for your leadership, your passion, your care for airmen, your mission focus, and your ability to pour your expertise into me to educate me on your craft so I could better represent and fight for our airmen, those airmen who execute the mission every day. Thank you for letting me lead you and your airmen for making this wing better every day. To our first sergeants who have the hardest job in the Air Force, thank you for the hours, the nights, the weekends, the passion, the compassion, and the true devotion to our airmen that you display daily. Thank you for finding ways to connect to and with our airmen, for helping them come back to course when they've strayed, and finding them the right course when they think they're lost. You are truly what represents the best of our Air Force. To our key support liaisons, our key spouses of old, thank you for caring, for giving time to look after our families, and for powering our mission by making sure our loved ones are okay. Your time is given for free, and we can never repay you for the service you give. Thank you. 
to the few but immense Comrail team, to Naoko, Yuki, Hiro, Tomoko, and now Captain Sam. Thank you for your time, your education, and your patience. To the wing front office, Paulette and Demi, and Ray and Brennan, and Sham and Einstein, and Ian and Julie and Brett, Chief Dunn, Chief Hawk, and the trusted team of execs, Sam, Z, Victoria, my favorite 38F, I'm told. Chris, Gavin, Kashi, and Adam, thanks for all the work, the fun, the patience, the humor, the frustration, and the learning and the laughs. To Tyler and Jackie and Jack U and G and Little, thank you for everything you do to make a difference in this wing every day. And to our protocol office, you may be small, but you get it right each and every time, whether it's the red carpet at a random time of day or night, or magnificent events like this. And to my family, both immediate and extended, Thank you for your love and support, your care, your concern, and your humor. I love you all and couldn't do this without you. To my two daughters who continue to take this journey too, thank you for being you. I'm prouder of you than you will ever believe and amazed by the ladies you have grown to be. I love you both. And finally, to my best friend of over 30 years, thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for being my counsel, my sounding board, propping me up when I needed lifting, reminding me of humility, when I got a little far ahead, but for never doubting me and what we can always do and what you always do, which is care for people. You're amazing, and I just can't do this without you, and I love you. Mac, congratulations. You've got a winning team. I promise you they'll fight for you. They'll continue to propel this space forward. Good luck to you and to Carolyn and to your family as you embark on this adventure, and I hope you all enjoy the ride. I'll simply end as I started with saying thank you to everyone. Have a great day. The men and women of the 374th Airlift Wing will honor Colonel Rodden with a final salute as their 374th Airlift Wing commander. Thank you, Colonel Rodden. The men and women of the 374th Airlift Wing are proud to have served with you and wish you and your family good luck and Godspeed. ラランタイサ、ありがとうございました。第374空輸航空団は大佐と任務を共にできたことは我々の誇りです。大佐とご家族に婚を祈ります。Attention to orders. Under the provisions of AFI 51-604 and special order number G-24-014, Colonel Andrew Rodden relinquishes command of the 374th Airlift Wing to Colonel Richard McElhaney, effective 9 July 2024. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the commander, Colonel McElhaney. Thank you all. Brad, real quick, would you put the, uh, the wing at ease for a moment just to shake it out a little bit, please? All right, so the biggest thing in my instructions on the, uh, the protocol pamphlet was not to thank everybody again. So I would just like to reiterate from whatever the, the two gentlemen said previously, thank you to everyone. I appreciate it very much. Thank you for coming to Yiba Cooney, bro. That was really cool for you to come up here. I appreciate it. 
Colonels, Chiefs, Commanders, SELs, First Sergeants, Family, Friends, Men and Women of Team Dakota and the 374th Air Wing, thank you for joining us today. To my wife, Carolyn, thank you for loving me and giving up your career for this one. You're half my size and twice the person I'll ever be. Thank you for giving up your career and thank you for holding this family together. Boys, I stayed in the same house in Lower Alabama for 18 years and I have no idea what you two go through every one to two years when you have to move around and make new friends. I'm very proud of the incredible young man you've become. You have and shall ever be my greatest accomplishment. General Rupp, sir, thank you for entrusting me in this, uh, this responsibility. Thank you for officiating today. I know you told me to keep it to five minutes. Um, I tried to write the speech in five minutes. I know you might ask, how could it take you five minutes to write your speech when it takes the entire speech writing world 20 minutes? I don't know. I guess I'm just a fast writer. Platts, what can I say? You're blood relatives. You're not blood relatives, but you're more family than family. And not the ones you avoided holiday parties, the ones you'll drop everything and always be there for you. Thank you for coming in today. Uh, Andrew, thank you for the spin up over the last few weeks. You've done a magnificent job. I look forward to building off what you've accomplished here. Best of luck to you and Renee in DC. You don't get here on your own. There are many other officers more capable and far better for this opportunity. Uh, but someone took a chance on me. And for all those who took that chance, took care of me, and made me the person I am today, thank you. Small story. I had the opportunity to go to Guam for my first assignment. Back in those days, you get your order of merit and you got the assignments and they just told you to go to the bar and figure it out. Um, so Marty Smith went, Marty Smith picked Alaska. I went next and I picked Little Rock because it was, you know, it was safe, although Yakota was on the list. So in Little Rock, I met uh, Yasu Kitamura. And I was his co-pilot for several missions. Then I went to teach pilot training at Columbus and flew several missions with the Japanese students to include Taka. I'm not sure if he's able to make it today. When I was stationed at Yokota here for the first time, Colonel Katsumura uh, invited us to the Miho Air Base 60th anniversary. I also met his son in Misawa, who was at the time an enlisted air traffic controller. Then worked with Lieutenant Kanda. Bob, Bob, are you here? Yeah, you are. Good to see you, Bob. Uh, when he was our RAPCON LNO in the OSS. In Guam, I got to work with Yasu's son again, and this time he was a communications officer supporting the Japan's first F-35 deployment off-island. I also got to work with Bob uh, for our collective contingency response capabilities, and also where I met Mitsu, who's out here in the audience, I believe, and he's now the Jazz FPA. Why am I telling you this? I went from a frightened lieutenant trying to go to a foreign country to doing everything in my power to come back to Japan, TDY, or on station. I feel at home here, I feel happy here, my friends are here, and there's no place I'd rather be. It also dawned on me that Yasu, every time we had a conversation, it was in English. Um, and so I'm going to try to do this, and I apologize for butchering your language, but if you would bear with me here. Um, Yasu i Nizu nin kano tomodachi de eto kira eta kota ni kanashashimas anata to anata no muskoto isha ni hataraka kata wo. Hokorani omote orimas. Is that close? Good enough? Okay, thank you. All right. To Team Yakota, uh, during our contingency research group days, I tried to dispel the AMC only concept and express we're aircraft agnostic. Not MAF, not CAF, not SOF, agnostic for the user. We provide the same support. To the best of our ability, Yakota would be the same. We would be user agnostic. We're all here for the same goal, and it will take all of us to achieve it. To the 374th Air Wing, my goal entering the Air Force was to be a squadron chief pilot. I'm still working on that. This is a dream job for me, and you're going to get everything I have before somebody wakes me up. I will drive you. I will ask you questions. I ask you to ask questions back. I guarantee you will know my priorities, and I will answer your questions. Just be prepared for the answers. Take care of the mission, and we will take care of you. For a quick recap, thank you, amazing friends. Japan is awesome. Dream job, one team. Get after the mission. We've got your back. Lucky to be here. Humble and honored. Thank you. The men and women of the 374th Airlift Wing will honor Colonel McElhaney with a first salute as their new commander. Thank 
Thank you, Colonel McElhaney. The men and women of the 374th Aloof Wing welcome you. Please direct your attention to the C-130 aircraft outside the hangar door. Dedicated crew chief, Senior Airman Alex Perner, will now make the ceremonial name change to the flagship of the 374th Airlift Wing. McElhaney, thank you very much. The 374th Aloof Wing is the flagship of the 374th Airlift Wing. ここで各農工の外にあります C-130 輸送機にご注目くださいクルーチーフを担当するアレックス・パーナーツ・クルーシーが第374空輸航空団司令官専用機に新司令官の名前を刻印します Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the singing of the Air Force song and departure of the official party. ご来賓の皆様、空軍館に合わせて周品が退場いたしますのでご起立ください。Give me the go. Down we die, starting our flames from under. Off with one hell of a roar. We live in fame and go down in flame. Hey, nothing can stop the U.S. Air Force. Off we go into the wild blue yonder, climbing high into the sun. Here they come, zooming to meet our thunder. Adam, now give them the gun. Down we dive, spouting our flames from under. Off with one hell of a roar. We live in fame or go down in flames. Say nothing can stop the U.S. Air Force. This concludes today's ceremony. On behalf of Lieutenant General Rubb, we thank you for attending and would like you to join us for the reception at the Officers Club. これをもちまして、指揮権加護体式を終了いたします。ロップ中将に代わり、ご出席を賜りました皆様に感謝を申し上げます。この後、証拠クラブにて新司令官。